1903. For those of you who haven't got used to these newfangled ideas yet, that is three minutes past seven. <laughs> I, ought, I ought therefore, I ought therefore to tell you, to tell you the news. It's just past seven o'clock. For those of you interested in politics, you would have been worried about the goings on in the Whig Party. Well, I have to tell you that after all the argy bargy, finally the Whigs have split. And a very unpleasant sight it is, too. <laughs> we may have to do away with the Whigs altogether, in fact, and start again with a new centre party. <laughs> I, um, no, I, I ought really to be brave, but I must fall off if I go out there. Well, like all this lot have. <laughs> well, no, that's what happened. You know, all of these were big stars once, walked out down the catwalk, fell in. <laughs> now they all have to sit there pretending to be musicians. No, I ought, I 